Ryan Little. <laughs> did in the fire no no he, he just lost him he just lost his wife mm, mm. that fish is good we probably didn't even eat this fish but i didn't think he would like this and stuff then, fresh and then what he didn't know is lego actually meant i put together so i mean then, what it meant i put together lego meant I put together. yeah i'm not gonna have this fish and you didn't miss any part uh-huh <gasps> That's not true though. No, you didn't miss any parts. You didn't. And I, but there is a birthday, but I missed Let always. Let him ask you the I missed, I missed always. But birth. you were very detailed in it, okay? I missed always birthday. Okay, but you were Good. very detailed, okay? Good. Let him ask you the that's question. Even, that's Let him even, ask that's, that's actually proves my point. My point is, you getting all this stuff, but yet, what's wrong with you doing the same thing for your class? for your school class. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Actually, I was- Y'all, hold on baby. Let me turn this down so I can talk to them. I am so sorry. I looked back at the footage I did yesterday of all the food I cook. It was not that as detailed as I hoped because I started drinking early. <laughs> hold on y'all, real quick. Shout out, shout out, shout out, girl, to all the teachers. Y'all, I've always felt this way. I've, I've said thank you to the teachers in my vlogs before, but this week is, let me sit down. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and clearly those of us who are um, having to homeschool, um, I'm not even going to call this homeschooling because we are doing public school at home um, right now. We definitely, you know, understand uh you know, the position that teachers have been in for years now. <clears throat> I've always said this and I've always felt this way, that teachers are highly underpaid and highly undervalued. One of the things I've learned while we've been on, shut, while we've been on shutdown, and I'll get to how my day has been going a few days. Um, celebrities, actors, actresses, musicians, uh, basketball players, NFL players, they are not really relevant. A lot of people worship, you know, celebrity status. And one thing, and I think a lot of celebrities feel this way, they've really humbled themselves because now everyone's stuck in, they're doing their own hair, doing their own makeup. They can't really go out and have concerts if they're artists. Um, they can't go act if they're actors. And so they're just regular everyday people if you look at it. And the people who are on the front lines, the people who are in the trenches, they are being highlight, highlighted right now. So honestly, I think that's almost the beauty of things to where some of us, I've always valued um, work, the worker bees is what I call them, but the world is really being able to sit back and see who really are the celebrities, who really are the heroes. It is our teachers, it's our educators, it's the people who are working in the hospital, our nurses, our doctors, the people in the pharmacy, our, um, um, not only the hospital work workers, but also fast food workers, the workers in the grocery store, um, you know, the everyday, you know, uh, worker bees, like I said, those are our celebrities. Those are our heroes. So specifically for this week being Teacher Appreciation Week, I appreciate all of you who are um, willing to put up with all this mess and madness in the midst of it all. And even what you have going on at home, it takes a special type of person to do that. It really does to put up with all of that BS. And I know there can be like, I can tell just by the look on the faces of the teachers at my school that there was some stuff popping off. Even there were things going on in the background as far as administrative go, even before the coronavirus hit. So then when the coronavirus hit, it was like, you. I went through all of this and now you want me to do this too? I get it. I so empathize with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now girl, this week, it has been a bit much. Today was an all out, excuse my language, but just crappy, shitty day. 
um, they have assigned the first grade class a report to do. And you guys, I just feel a certain type of way of pushing kids to do things when they're just not ready for it. Um, and I get it, the world is changing, things are changing, but JB struggles with language arts. And that's honestly one of the areas that we're gonna be focusing on for the summertime. I'm gonna let my baby have a break, absolutely. But we're going to be focused on reading more often and having him to write and you know those type of things throughout the summertime. And then going in full force at the end of August for our at home curriculum. All hell broke loose. It took us about an hour to do, like no kidding. And an hour for a child is eight hours. It took us about an hour of screaming and crying for us to do the writing plan and to write two sentences. When I saw that, I took a two day break real quick. Shout out and thank you to Blessed Virtuous Teacher. I believe that's your username. I reached out to her because I was at my wits end with JB a couple of days ago and I, I'm still feeling that way. Um, because I was, I she's a second grade teacher and I contacted her on Instagram a couple of days ago and looking for some tips and advice on how to encourage JB to write. <clears throat> she had a lot of valid points and she gave me some advice on what I could do at home. Um, so thank you so much, sis. I really do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. So absolutely, Why sis. Why is the shower still on? Oh, hell. It is on. So absolutely, sis. We will, we will be doing a little bit of journaling. And we will be doing sometimes writing, writing about how you're feeling. Like at the end of the day, how do you feel? One or two sentences. I'm curled. How did you feel? Or write, write, you can write like instructions on how to do something and then draw a picture. Gotta wipe your face off. Or you can help me write my grocery list. Can you help me write my grocery list? Or in my planner, you wanna help me plan? Will you help me plan, sweetheart? Like if I have, like for the day, I have a couple of things I need for you to write down for me. And then you can write like I have a couple of things I need to plan for Saturday and I'm gonna need for you to write those three things down for me and then add some stickers next to it. Okay. Okay, give me some sugar. So cute. Ah! Hey you guys, I'm back in my room. I have on a dress girl. You know who is here. Let me bring this in some y'all. I'm gonna have to out ah, that'll work. So I'm gonna show y'all. I got no little um um, honey nut spray on my wrapper. Got hmm? no honey nut spray on my wrapper. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna show y'all a couple of things that came in over the. Um, why am I talking loud? A couple of things that came in this week alone, girl. Um, Woo! Um, Shout. My Lego set coming today. Like JB's Lego set is coming in today. Let's go with the with the number one thing I was looking forward to. I'm a little bit frustrated, but we we're gonna be okay. I got my new uh, Mac Air. Really excited for MacBook this MacBook Air. MacBook Air. It comes in rose gold. Very look how thin that is. Very very nice. Now these new Mac um, equipment, whatever computers, do not have additional ports. You just have a port for the Apple, you know, um, y'all, I, I can't talk to that. I can't talk any day. But basically, there's no USB. There's no additional ports as I have opposed to my laptop that is about five years old. So what do you got to do? Is Am I zooming in? I basically have to buy an additional little, I don't know what you call it, a USB to iPhone port so that I can upload. I bought it so I can upload my uh videos um my video files and so my husband was like well can you do that through wireless connection i don't even want to figure that out i think i can do that and, but that that takes even longer what are you looking for don't turn that up all right y'all so let me go into some things um we went to the dollar tree today and we purchased a bunch of stuff and one of the things i purchased are these cute little containers for so you need to go in the living room these containers for my dip powder for when I do my nails. So I have colors coming in, but I'm gonna be creating my own colors. I'm gonna be making my own colors using eyeshadow. Look how pigmented this is. It's cover girl. Example. See that? 
And so you basically mix this with acrylic powder, shake, shake, shake it up, put it in this and done. Um, so I have about five eyeshadows here set aside. Look at this one. This is by NYX. Look, that'll be really nice. All right, JB, you can go in the living room. Detangling tool, sorry, the detangling tool came in. Yeah, it's really excited about that. Uh, I'm not gonna open this up. It's by Vamp, the mop, the mop. Okay, so yeah, there's something here dangling. I don't know if something broke off or if this is extra. The meal. Hmm. The meal. Okay, whatever you say, Jamie. The meal. Oh, look, can I give it to me? Yeah. I you, you try to pronounce it. Here. The mop. Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> okay, baby, thank you. Um, let's get into some of the homeschooling stuff I got. Um in no particular order. Well, let me try to organize some of this. Some All of the stuff I'm gonna show you. This is again some of the stuff. I'm not even showing y'all everything that came in. I still have about nine deliveries from Amazon. I did some serious shopping. Nine okay, deliveries okay. from Amazon. Okay, we need to add that real quick. And I ASOS. I'm almost done. Just real quick, cause JB wants to watch TV. Nikki and Deja, this is independent reading. Independent reading, Nikki and Deja. Oops. The Stinky Giant. You see what you did? You shouldn't have touched it. Um, The Best Chef in second grade. Second grade, here I come. 100 African Americans who shaped the history, American history. Human Body. Another Human Body book, activity book. 240 vocabulary words you should know. Grade three, purposely did that. Spelling weekly practice. Geography and maps, acti maps activities. Drawing books for kids. 365 drawing books, just little activities he could, you know, do if he wants to. Spectrum reading, great two. 180 days of social studies, great two. We are returning this. Building thinking skills, grade one and two, no, two and three. I had him to go through and do like two or three he he knew it right away. This has saved me thirty bucks. Sending this back. Critical skills. Yeah. Uh, okay. You want the end of your writing? <laughs> writing paragraphs. Great too. Uh uh, baby, almost done. And then we have. You got in the video right now. <laughs> Go math. There's about ten of them. <laughs> And last but not least, we're almost done. I have my planner here. This is one of the things I'll be using. Girl, it's upside down. <laughs> the open dated teacher planner. And this would be for a daily planning. Um, John, 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 you're John. You're hey guys, I'm setting up my new Epson um, printer. <gasps> this is the Echo Style <laughs> ET2720. Excuse the background noise. This is very interesting. These are ink bottles. JB. I literally just put this ink bottle on top and you can see it's Whoa. filling up right here. Isn't that cool, Davey? It's filling up the yellow right now. Very, very simple. So we'll see how I can connect all, I'm gonna connect all the laptops to Davey. Girl, but I just take the brush and I just brush the hair. Look, look at this. Ooh, this box, this soap box will get you. Why, why are you? Why are you brushing your shoes? Why are you brushing your shoes? <laughs> yeah. Cause you gotta keep it plugged. You got, you know, nobody wants Good to play. Child. Ain't you this some? I I, hell no, nah. no, nah, that's okay. I don't want any. I don't want no thought shoes. I'll t I'll ask you about all this stuff when I get everything. What am I supposed to use this prep? What am I supposed to use this for? That's your bonding agent. That's your bonder. You're gonna put that on the nail. When you when you do your nails, call me and then okay. I'm walk you through the steel. Yeah, just walk I'll call you when I get everything. Alright, girl, I gotta go get my um I gotta go check my mail. I'm gonna have to put you back on cam when you tell the story. We have to retell the story of how you got rehired. Twice. Well no, no, no. I got banned. You got banned. I'm sorry, you got banned. Banned. I got it, banned, then they fired me. But he came over to the hotel. You know what I did? He came over there. He seen me at Holiday Inn Express. Girl, let me tell you about that real quick. So he came over to Holiday Inn Express trying to see how 
like everything was looking over. I said, hey, watch, remember me? Now, did he own that one? <laughs> Did it break? It broke. Oh my god. Huh? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> it broke? I put my feet down, I may cut my feet. You're gonna have to get that up, Nicole. Yeah, let me get this up. I'm gonna call you back, girl. Okay, okay, bye.